Hi darlings, how are you? This is gonna be for my Aries and this is an overview for the month of July. I will be using the Art of Adventure Tarot deck and I will clarify learning tarot cards using my learning tarot cards. So Aries, let's see what message we have for you. So Aries, this is for you. The Six of Pentacles, found balance financially. The Two of Wands, you have two paths. You're gonna have a choice to make. The Three of Swords, a broken heart, might have already happened. The Knight of Cups, romantic proposals, somebody bringing some romantic gifts. Don't worry, your sadness will be over soon. Watch. The Four of Pentacles. Ooh. You're holding on to someone too hot, too tight. Let's continue. Or something. Maybe money. The Page of Wands. Some passionate energy here. The Chariot is coming in pretty fast, too. The Magician. You got all the resources you need to complete whatever it is you set out to do. Seven of Wands, you will be above your challenges no matter what. So let's see, the Six of Pentacles. Balance, it could be financial balance and it could be emotional balance. The Three of Wands on top of the Six of Pentacles. Things are moving forward. Plans are moving forward. Got a lot of self-confidence. You believe in yourself. You're feeling happy and successful. That was the Three of Wands. This is the Four of Wands. Happy family. Happy community. It may even be a reunion of some sort. Somebody might, might be coming home. The Queen of Swords. This could be an energy in your environment. This could be a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius. If not, now is the time for you to start standing up for yourself and communicating with a purpose. The Two of Wands on top of the two of wands is the ten of pentacles. Unexpected income. Some money came in unexpectedly. The card says lump sum, will, deed, trust funds, inheritance, solid foundation. I say enough to take care of your family. 
The Ace of Swords. You will have some new ideas that will give you clarity. The Queen of Cups. This could be an energy in your environment or you might be feeling a little sensitive. Why? We got the Three of Swords over here, so that might be why. Maybe you already had a feeling something was happening or something was going on. Now, this could be an energy in your environment as well. This could be a Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpio. The Three of Swords. Moving to calmer waters, I see. On top of that came the Six of Swords. So with this broken heart or whatever happened, um, you're going to move to calmer waters and it seems like you are returning to someone that you've known before or some place that you've been before. The Six of Cups, I say reunion. Somebody from the past you're going towards. The Three of Pentacles. The universe has a hand in it. There's nothing you can do. The universe is building something for you. Something to do with collaboration, teamwork. Something to do with togetherness. It's building something for you. Let's see. On top of the Knight of Cups. Oh, there's a lot of romance coming towards you. I got the Empress. Could also mean pregnancy. Or it could be a good time to think about you know, if you've been thinking about trying for a baby, it might be the right time. It might be you're very fertile right now. The magician. You have all the tools you need to accomplish what you need to accomplish. The tower. Sit back and let it happen. Okay? The tower, it could, it's unexpected. Um, it's chaos and confusion. You have a broken heart there. Um, you're moving. Even though you have abundance around you and you're feeling magical, you're going through a lot of chaos and confusion because of this broken heart. Remember, sometimes things need to break down in order to be rebuilt stronger. Just try to see if you could just sit back, breathe. Please breathe. It's gonna pass, the feeling will pass. The chaos and confusion, that feeling is gonna pass. Just breathe, just relax, okay? Just relax. Get out of your head. Start feeling your heart. Okay, let's see what happens. The Four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles. On top of the Four of Pentacles is the Three of Swords. There is a heartbreak. There's somebody betrayed you. Might have been someone else involved in the situation. But you're trying to hold on. And it's not healthy, that holding on that you're doing. It doesn't look like you're. it's healthy to do. It was a painful ending for you. The Ten of Swords, and it was a marriage. Maybe more than one person was involved. Hmm. On top of the Page of Wands, you have the Four of Cups. 
you deep in thought, you have some regrets because you missed some opportunities. Maybe you're looking back and thinking, you know, well, heck, I gave up everything to be in this relationship here and this is the thanks I get. Let's keep going. Aries, this is you, the King of Wands. You're deep in thought, you got some regrets. The Eight of Cups, you're gonna walk away, aren't you? You're gonna walk away, you're gonna let go. On top of the chariot, you need to use your intuition. That the high priestess, you have that gift. We all have that gift within us. Just gotta tap into it. Wake up your heart. Yeah. Your voice. Try it. Start feeling you, listening to you. On top of the High Priestess comes the Strength card. You got a lot of inner strength. You're gonna overcome whatever it is that you're going through. Don't let it suck you in and suck you down. See, that's the way I know what I wanna say but I'm really careful of what I do say in the sense of um, talking about certain things. Don't let those dark forces suck you in, okay? The more you let it, let that darkness hang on you, is the further down you will sink and the more you will feed that negative energy. So, you got to find your inner strength. You got to use your intuition. You need to spend some quiet time and you need to heal. You need to heal that broken heart of yours, darling. You can do it. You can do it. Spend time in quiet meditation. Like it could be just in, in just silence and just quiet your mind. And forgive yourself, darlings. Go back to all those times that hurt you and start healing. It's going to be hard, but you can do it. I'm living proof that you can do it. And I am here. The Knight of Cups with your inner strength, darling. You're going to have you some... Romantic proposals. Maybe some invitations somewhere. But you're going to follow your heart. You're going to follow your heart. And you're going to heal. You're going to start taking care of you. And once you take care of you and start loving you and accepting you, you will be able to love others and the right love will come towards you. Learn your worth because you are worthy. Don't ever forget that. The King of Cups. This could be an energy in your environment. The Queen of Cups was up there as well. Or it could be you were emotional up there, but now you stable as ever. You went through that storm and you came out just fine. Like I told you, you would. And we got the two of cups because darling, you found you some new unified, some new love that's unified, some partnership. You just need to be a boy. Sorry about that. <laughs> you just need to be a little patient. 
all right? You need to find balance and moderation within your environment. Remember, you are the magician and you have all the resources you need. You got the magician card twice. So temperance, the king of cups, and the two of cups. You're going to be very compatible with this new energy coming in. But it all depends on you and how much healing you've done. The eight, the seven of, um, on top of the seven of wands, who is the five of wands. Some kind of like back and forth in your environment. Some kind, might be conflict, might be a little argument, or, you know, a disagreement. But you can always walk away from that. You don't ever have to take part in that argument, okay? You can walk away from it. And the world card. Success. You achieved and accomplished what you set out to do, didn't you? And the four of pentacles. Financial stability and emotional stability at last. Like I tell you all the time, you are the gift. You have everything within you to come out from where you are. Any dark feelings, any negative feelings, anger, whatever it is, let go. The hatred, the depression, just let it go. Let it go. Don't let it tie you up anymore. Start healing. I love you. And I am here for you. And I will see you soon.